So you're thinking like you get the plane marines, right? And you think it so the plane marine box, let's go over that. So it comes with the banner bearer, which not great, but you probably haven't bought that before because he's not great, but it's a chance to get him, right? Well, what's what's this? Sorry, the, the The Plague Marines, Plague Fest the War Band it's called. Right, okay. I'm going to open so it comes the, yeah, with... the, the thing, the Warhammer community article, so I can have a look. Yeah, do it, do it, do it. We'll both do it. We'll have a break, and we'll talk about these boxes, because I think it's an important thing to talk about. Yeah. And we can rate them. This is proper streaming. So uh, out of shame, 10? Do it, should we do it out of 10 or out of 5? Or out of 7? Let's do it out let's do... <laughs> Yeah, let's do it out of 7, just to be fucking weird. Um, are you showing the people at home on the screen, Salt? That'd be good if you could do that. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, I could do that. I could do that. Let's go to let's Look go to walk on. Yeah, we're content creators. Bro. Let's go rogue. Let's go. Let's go do some Google Chrome up in this shit. Up in this bit in the Friday night fuck fest. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, we'll have a community. Also, there's an article about um, how troops are good in the next three codices, and one of them yeah, is a Tower that. Fire Warrior. Mm, I haven't oh, heard yeah. that one yet. Have you not heard about all this? No. Tower. Game. How are we getting an extra AP on the guns? Yeah, I thought they were. Oh, so they have... the, the, and they get an extra range. So strength 5, uh, AP minus 1, 1 damage pulse rifles is crazy. Uh, thing you, Bob, uh, custodies are getting more damage on their weapons. Or more AP. All right, let's have, hold on. Let's, 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 before, let's, let's go on a bit of tangent immediately. I'm going to look at this this article. Let's, 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 let's Live reaction to the article. I've lost it. Where is it? There it is. I'll tell you. So custodies is going to damage two, so they basically turn into power fists. Their 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 swords and spears and stuff. So there's their spears. Their their shooting already was. Um, their blades are D three. So yeah, that's that's more. Yeah. Thing. On down to and then the big one, the biggest one, it really in terms of how it'll affect an army. So you can see the call. Very exciting. Acolyte hybrids are toughness going four. to toughness four. Yeah, that's which cool. is it, which is massive because everything used to be toughness three. Oh, you've so got like an apothecary really, really... now as well, like an icon's on like apothecary. No, 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 it's kind of. An icon is just basically... So it used to be, it's like a, a banner. Yeah. It used to be um, re-rolling ones to hit, which was fine, which was good, lots of attacks. Mm. But I love that bringing D3 models back as well, because no offence to Space Marine players, and you've played it in the past, because you're a dirty player. Um, when you bring a, a Gravis Eradicator back, Ooh. that is... That's horrible. That's like... Toughness five, three wounds, up on your feet, soldier. You're back in the game, and you've got a multi meller Chunky right? monkey. Uh, an acolyte hybrid, as it currently stands, is six points a model. Mm. So even if you brought it back with drilling equipment, the most you could you you, you won't be able to bring back much points in a turn. Yeah. Right. Let's have a look so at this pulse turned... carbine. Hold on, I'm just gonna quit it. It's all right. I'll carry on. Ooh, Twenty-four inch range, assault and two for yeah. That's cool. So that, that's a nice, nice boost because it used to be eighteen, I think. Right. Um, okay. Pulse rifle used to be thirty inch. Now it's thirty-six. Rapid fire one, strength five. I, you know what? I, <laughs> I guess this. I did. I guess this when they did the redid the um, the Space Marine bit or whatever. Mm. You know, they were trying to bring everything in line. Um, right. I was. Uh, I thought. You know what? Tau. With their strength five, they're supposed to have the best guns, the best infantry guns, the best guns in general in the galaxy. They're supposed to. So, they also, yeah. they also with that article sort of confirmed what we. Mm. I don't know if we had it in fact, but Tau are after Gene Steeler, Colton Custodes, next codex. Yeah, I didn't know that, so that's that's cool. But I like, I like that's I that's think... also kind of an announcement at the same time, isn't it? It's like, hey, Tau, yeah. Next. Well, they hinted at it, but like they've they've confirmed it there, and I think yeah. what's really interesting is those three armies, in my opinion, are probably the three most broken in terms of... I'm going to have to explain this, but they're the most broken in terms of current state of play. Yeah. So I don't mean, like, like strong. I mean broken. So Custodes, I, I, I'm always going on about this, but Custodes aren't very fun to play against. No. It, it's not like... It, it's like... I get why people bring the shields, but then it's basically three invul three up invulnerables on the troops. You're waiting to roll a one. Then you use your CP when you don't roll a one or a two and you get the three and then you're fine and you just keep doing that. And I get why custodies players do it, but it's like, it's a mechanic that isn't fun for the custodies player because he he rolls one or two early on and he loses his 50 point models mm. and then he's, he's fucked off. Or it's not fun for his opponent someone's apologizing in a, in a custodian game you yeah either Somebody's you lose going, all your models like i played a game against winter's tyranids and he had an um, i had a really bad turn one he had an amazing turn one and i got like just what 
I lost half my army turn one, which, you know, again, is like right. five models, but it was just like, oh and my god. And then he's he's apologising to you, right? Yeah. Or, the other way around, is you constantly boss three up saves, and you're apologising to him, because his whole army is doing nothing, right? Yeah. It's like it's like with Death Guard, when making the five up saves that, that you, you like so Hello, much. Stylus. Like, that was... <laughs> like that would that would do your nutting right yeah and, but then they, they did the reducing damage stuff and all that and the toughness increase i think it were like it were a good solution because death guard are still as resilient but the mechanic has been changed so that there's people don't feel as bad about it they still like, annoy the hell feel, out of me <laughs> yeah yeah but you feel like you're doing something right you feel mm. like you're, you're whittling them down even though like you're yeah. used to it. right yeah. so so that's the right cool G2 right a cult yeah, I've got all the rules for eighth, but they're playing in ninth, so they need stuff to help them do all the cool shit. I'm and sure Tau, were, yeah. Tau, um, at the like the mark light system. I don't know anybody who likes that system. Like, yeah, people get on Tau, with it, Tau people... have one phase, or technically two, because movement, right? But they have one phase in which they can do anything in. So that phase so... needs to be the most brutal thing in the world, and I think it needs to be easy. It needs, it, I think they're going to make it a bit easier, maybe. I think they're yeah. going to give them options, maybe, so that they... I think they might give crew a bit of a buff. I wonder I if they're going to be Ballistic Skill 3. It, when I started playing be, Tau, but... I was like, they've got, they're supposed to be the best at shooting in the galaxy. Yeah. And they've got these Marker Lights, sure, sure. I think Marker Lights should be... If you do get them, you, you know, somehow, however they work, they're for re-rolls, and they have Ballistic Skill 3 yeah because you've so, got admech hitting gonna... on twos all the like loads of times because of various yeah. rules and stuff and that's admech so but tau Mark... who have the best guns in the galaxy should be doing better than that marker light were two the two like it's too swingy and i don't yeah. i don't mean i like plus they hit stuff, on five i mean like if you miss you again yeah. we're, at the, we're at this thing where they tried to introduce cool stuff and most of the time they succeeded but this mm. is another one of those feel bads like tau either absolutely smash you to death in the shooting phase mm. or they fail I think they're going to give them more to do in the psychic phase and in the movement phase. I know they're not psychers, but I think they might do something similar with the eth with the eth ethereals, like yeah. they did with the uh, necrons. Yeah. So like necrons got psychic powers, but they just put them in the movement phase. Yeah. So like plasmancers, techmancers. I think they'll have like um, maybe aura buffs and stuff. Like the ethereals will have like plus one to hit or something in an aura yeah. range. I think there's there's loads of potential, right? Or it could even be uh, what's the the fire blade, right? That could increase, that could make combat to him. What if it gives them an extra strength and an extra attack or something to give you options so you're not just in one phase, or so just turns your guns into actually... instead of using melee weapons, you use your weapon, you use your shooting weapons yeah. in the combat because yeah. yeah, there's the straps for the stuff. Right, let's go to these battle forces. Let's have a look at these battle forces. Right, okay, okay. So anyway, so to to, to, to cap off. I think those three codexes, I think they are really needed, and I'm really glad they've they've challenged, they've took them on, and they get into them first. I think that's going to be really cool and really interesting to see. But yeah, shield breaker strike force. Are you showing this on screen? Yeah. So we've got in this box we have a Primaris captain. I'm circling my mouse around him. Uh, we have ten assault intercessors, the new ones. We have ten regular intercessors, the older ones. Five heavy intercessors, which are cool as hell three blade guard which i like but seem a bit out of place in this and then a storm speeder so yeah kind of feel lots in the box I kind, of, I kind of feel with this box right if you got that that to me if i was starting a new army feels like such a burden there's so many models <laughs> like it's what, cool what is that yeah like, so many 20 infantry 20 28 30 models yeah but 29 of them are all infantry Mm. And don't get me wrong, I get it. I get it's like that's a battalion, almost a battalion there, right? You could well, maybe you know like... it is, yeah. Your combat squad, and you're done. You got one, two, no, three, you... four, five troop slots. Yeah, but you've only got one HQ, haven't you? Oh uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry, yeah. Well, you could you could make the blade guard into a lieutenant if you really want, like run him, run the sergeant as a lieutenant, and then yeah, you've got yeah. a battalion. Yeah. But like, if I bought that in a big box, I don't know if. I wouldn't like it because you've got so many models that you instantly have, have just got sat in your pile of shame. Like usually when I'm painting, I don't know about you, Solon, but when I'm painting Marines, I paint them in squads of five, right? Yeah, same. So if you do if you do that, there is five batch paints there, which is a lot. Well, technically, so it'd be one, two, three, four, five batch paints of the intercessors alone. 
and then you've got one for blade guard maybe one for the captain mine, one for storm speeder yeah it's i think it's a good it's, a good box um john it, fish it, it, john says shield breaker strike fast five out of ten um i'd give it i, I think value wise again it depends on the cost i have no idea on the cost if it's a hundred quid i doubt it if it's a hundred quid amazing value i'm gonna give it a four out of ten i, I uh, don't uh, like the box i don't hmm. i don't think it's inspiring it wouldn't it's make boring, me boring it? it's all infantry it's, it's all troops it's boring it, that's it it's boring yeah. and i'm not like i'm not saying the scopes are boring i'm not saying marine i love marines mm. i'm just saying even I, that doesn't convince me to a bolster my ranks as a marines player yeah. or if i wasn't i couldn't i couldn't see myself looking at that and thinking whoa shit loads of models what a good deal it's yeah. the only way it's the only way it's a good deal is if you're going to start a new chapter and it's just the money off and yeah. to me that's not enough it should be exciting first and then yeah. the value comes back. so Before so I for me the left what are you so the left hand side of the box the storm speeder heavy intercessors blade guard that is an amazing start it's the right yeah, hand cool. side of the box and the captain that doesn't inspire me so left hand side of the box if it was that plus some you know other cool stuff you know a couple of bikes and atv something, something interesting like a fast attack kind of force with some heavy backfield dacca um uh -huh. I'd, I'd be leaning towards the higher end of the spectrum like sevens or eights but then when the right side of the box comes in it's just yeah boring as you say it's just infantry i'm gonna give it a six because i love space marines and i think it's probably going to be really good value but it doesn't it's not one i want to buy because i looked at it and went oh more of them it's not tickling your balls is it so no right let's scroll down sisters purgatorius Pur purgatus mission so what we got here we have a dogmata we have a squad of 10 mm -hmm. battle sisters which are very versatile we have five celestants an immolator and an exorcist now i'm gonna go right off the bat this is an awesome box in terms yeah, of this is actual a great stuff box. you're going to use. This is really good. Um, I can. They all work together as well. The Dogmata will buff the Celestians. The Celestians will protect the Dogmata. And the Battle Sisters, you can make as Celestians. You can make it as uh, Retributors. You can do whatever the hell you want with them. Um, and then, yeah, the Exorcist is just a great tank. And the Immolator is a great transport. So I think this is a really good one the box. I don't think there's many sisters players out there that would wouldn't find a use for this box and what i mean by that is you've probably not got after painting one of those tanks you've probably not got three of them doesn't <laughs> matter about the rough, emulator yeah. anyway because you can take that as many as you want of them yeah but if you've already got three exorcists you, you've got a deep problem that you need professional help with because you're a cheesemonger mm -hmm. so like you don't it, you know what i mean like you you can go to hell as far as i'm concerned but i mean no really seriously that box is sick it is sick did I you say sorry like, sorry I, I missed all of that i was i was reading the chat you do you say i was a cheesemonger have you got three exorcists i have one no no what i'm saying is like with this box if you bought it if you have three x if, you, if you're looking at this box saying i can't buy that i've already got three exorcists mm then you're part of the problem. Oh, I see. I, wait, I thought you were talking direct to me, and I was like, just. I, I, mean, I don't. I don't care about calling a cheesemonger. It's like whatever. But I, I, I was just like, I only have one. <laughs> no, no, no. I mean, like, I'm, I'm talking like. To me, so like, bait. you can buy that box, and even if you've got a a big a big sister's army already, you, you can find a use for everything in there. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I, I think that's. I think it's cool. I think the Doug Marta, I like the idea that people might not have wanted to buy it because. They didn't. They weren't massively into the model at the time. But here, you get it bundled in with stuff, so yeah. you might get it. Might think the sculpt's actually all right. Put the helmet on it, paint it up, and get using it in games, and come to love it. I think it's a cool box. I'm gonna say eight and a half out of ten for me with this oh, one. Nice. I, I think it's really, really good. I think yeah. it's a cracking box. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with. Um, I'm gonna go strong. I'm gonna go a nine out of ten. But it, and nice. it would have been 10 out of 10 if the Dogmata was a better looking model. Right. Um, but the Dogmata as a, as a how, unit, really cool. How much do you reckon these boxes are going to be? Uh, I, well, I'm going to go with 150 based on what's in these. Yeah, that's what I, that's what I was going to say. Because I know, I know a bit about Space Marines, but I know a bit more about Sisters pricing, and that's mm. a 150 box there. Yeah. If it's 125 at, at your FLGS, Great deal. Like, if you can get that for... That is a banger of it. If that's one, yeah. two, five salts, right? The Exorcist is what fifty for uh, forty-five, fifty. Yeah. Let's say it's. I think it's fifty. The Immolator is forty, right? Yeah. So Battle Sisters are thirty. Getting, yeah. Yeah. So uh, roughly, you're getting the half the Dogmata and the Celestians for free. Mm. 
Like if we just use simple math, which I yeah. think is, uh, yeah, that that sounds about right. Well, great deal. But yeah. So th- th- if, if I had the money, this is a box I'd pick. If I had the time, I'd, I'd pick. I'd pick this box yeah. up. Right. Next one. Let's let's start rattling through them so we can get back to shooting. Um, right. We've got um, Admech now. I'm gonna size Talon. Let me have a look. I haven't had a proper look at this. You've got a Manipulus. You've got which is a, a cool HQ. You've got three um, service Dogs. raiders or whatever one you want to make. Five of the Flappy Taraxi. You've got some Rust Stalkers, I think that is, at the back, or Infiltrators at the same yeah. kit. You've got an Iron Strider Balistari, and you've got ten Skitari Rangers slash Vanguard. Now, my first thoughts on this, it's a, it's a weird box. There's can no I, real, there's no real cohesion. Yeah, go on. Ten out of ten. Amazing box. Oh, yeah? Do you want to know why? Do you want to know why? why? They've put, like, the cool, they've put the cool new sculpts on. They've got the dogs. They've got the Taraxi. People don't often run Rush Stalkers. I love the Chicken Walker, so you're probably going to... You might want one of them, or yeah, you can people build want it as of them. Dragoon. People want like six of them. But you, if you've got three large chickens, right, you can run it as a dragoon. So people are going to run the other stuff, and they're going to branch out and be a bit freaky with it. The mm. Dominus, the guy telling everyone to show, is the best. The best model. He's like, good that HQ, model yeah. is so sick. I don't know about on the table. He's really good on the table so as well. Sick. Really good. Is he? Buffs, buffs the rangers, gives them an extra AP. Buffs rangers and vanguard gives them an extra AP and extra six inch range. I think this box, like, the, the dogs are expensive, the last chickens yeah, are yeah. expensive, the flappy boys are expensive. I think you buy this box, you get all this stuff that you're sort of on the edge about thinking, am I going to buy it, am I not going to buy it? And you get it all in this box. I think it's wicked. I think it's so cool, and I think people buy it, you're going to see a lot more freaky admit lists because of box, a box like this. Yeah. I love it. I like the stuff on the left. Again, rangers are always good, and especially with the way they change the special weapons. I, like many people, need more rangers or, or more yeah. uh, more Skitari because they've changed the weapons and now my units don't work. Um, the dogs, I like. They're cool. The Ballot Iron Strider, excellent. Love it. Manipulus, excellent. Love it. Um, I'm not a fan of the Flappy guys purely because I'm not uh, painting them. Not Not a fan. Um, and okay. then the rust stalkers they don't so I'm, again thinking of this box as a this is an army in a box that's the whole point right i don't see I that's, that's what they, that's what I, that's what they sell these as they say hey this is an army in a box you can get for christmas that's the, the kind of the tagline they use along with it okay um, okay yeah this is not an army in a box this is some cool units yeah I, I, there's I, absolutely I, no I synergies <laughs> here whatsoever there's no way i could buy this and just start playing admech the other ones but hang on there is a way hang on this. the sisters is an army in a box I'd say that is like that is that's a plug in to an existing sisters army for sure. Yeah, for but if, sure. if you were paying a small list, that would that would be as I say small list. I imagine that's what like seven hundred points something like that. You that could would run still it as a good. patrol, couldn't you? Yeah, yeah, you could. So that would still be ideal. But, but then, but then to be honest, Sultan, you could like if you have ran that ad mech, it'd be a patrol. Don't get me wrong. It oh no, it would be, be yeah, be effective. But I think that would be really fun to play with. Like, there's actually no, it wouldn't units. be a patrol because you've got. You've got your thing. The flappy dudes are fast attack. The I, the infiltrators are fast attack. The dogs are fast attack. Right. Okay. And so the iron strider, I believe, okay. is also fast attack. So could you do it as a? Three you could out? do it as a three CP. Um, what yeah. Was it? So name? you could you could play with it. Like you could play yeah. with it within the confines of the game. Like you could do it. It's like it's not ideal, but I think I I see. I I'm going to go down to nine out of ten because I see this as sort of like a plug-in for an admet collector. Mm. like i think like he's gonna get this box or she or they they're gonna get this box and they're gonna have like loads of fun cool weird new units that they might have been on the fence about and they're gonna explore and enjoy so i'm i'm down to clown with the omniscient talent i love it nine out of ten what about you son five out of ten. Oof. yeah not a fan <laughs> Fair enough, man. Do not like. Also, um, sorry, just about, about the sisters the... one. Um, some of the guys are pointing out that Dog Martyr, um in the main box is HQ. Elite. Uh, Dog is actually elite. Yeah, you're right. right. You can't. You can't. Oh. That is the sisters box. It's an excellent box. You can't run that as as it is. You need to buy I mean, a HQ. You, pro- you, you proxy it as a Canon S, wouldn't you? You if could. Yeah. Stops it, then yeah. If the thing is, if you go this is a Canon S and they go, oh, I don't think so, then you saved yourself three hours because you just walk away from that game because you don't yeah. want to be playing that person. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. But I know what you mean, guys. I know I, I do. I do get what you're saying. But so we've got to judge them all fair. Now, yeah. The right, plague fester, plague fester warband, death guard. Hate it, I'll go death watch, guard. 
I'll go what's I'll go what's in here. I'll tell you so because you don't even you can't even see the models. You just fume in red, right? So there's seven plague marines, a standard squad of seven, like a box of seven plague marines. In the middle, there's the guy with the banner, the plague banner, and to the right of him is the single sprue plague marine champion. So you've technically got like nine plague marines there. I think you can use the guy as a banner on his own. I'm not sure. In the in the front, you've got three death shroud terminators, the the bodyguard boys. Then you've got the play burst crawl on the left, and then you've got three light haulers on the right. What do you think of that song? Or do you not want to comment because you hate Death Guard so much? I hate Death Guard. <laughs> I think so. I'll, I'll I'll comment for both of us. I think it's a really really cool box. The only thing that lets it down is the three blight haulers. I think it's a bit tournamenty. And if they just put like as I said before, if they put a drone in there instead of three blight haulers. Like, two Blight Holders and a drone, I would love, and then it would be, like, top tier for me, this box. But the three Blight Holders brings it down a little bit, so I'm going to say 7 out of 10. It's just... Just them three... Just just doesn't do it for me enough, you know? Cool. 1 out of 10. Right. <laughs> yeah. I mean, the, your mileage may vary, but Sultan is... Uh, Sultan, like, Sultan's not putting this on. Sultan won't talk about Death Guard, like, away from cameras. Like, when me, if me and him go have a pint or whatever, like, and someone mentions Death Guard, he physically, like, he throws up a bit in his mouth. And it's, I hate He's him. not putting it on. Just, I he, hate him. He, they're, 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 too, they're, like, they're bloody horrible. Show me on the doll where the, uh, where the plague <laughs> man touched it. It's that kind of vibe. Yeah, right. yeah. We'll, yeah. We'll, I, we'll I won't complain because I'm just getting riled up. Right, Necrons, World right, Scour ne- Legion. Let's have a look. So we're both sort of passing Necron collectors, so this could be interesting. So you've got 10 warriors and three scarabs as per the little box. Five yep. um, really cool looking flayed ones. Uh, three of the skinny lads on the tails. They look like wraiths or something. I forget what they're called. Ophidian destroyers. They're called. There we go. So the destroyers. Ophidian destroyers. Two yeah. doom corruptek doom stalkers. A plasmancer yeah. and a locust you, heavy destroyer. Monkey, we're doing we're doing we're doing content here. Just just hang on, monkey. Come on, come on. Professionalism. Hello, it's we're, me. We're, Hello, monkey. <laughs> the stream can Sorry, continue. It's been, a, it's, been a, it's been on a night out. It's wrecked. Right. Um, <laughs> Ahmed. It's the techno. It's the techno man, sir. The locust heavy destroyer, flayed ones, two doom stalkers, Ophidian destroyers, and a squad of rides. I think this is a really cool box. To, I think this is really cool. I agree. I think the little, the little weird spider techno mancer is sick. I think the, I don't like. Oh, I, I, I got it. Plasma, like, yeah, techno mancer. I don't like the flayed ones as models, but they're supposed to be really good on the table, and I don't hate them. And I think the Ophidian Destroyers are cool. I think the Doomstalkers, again, were a little bit tournamenty with two Doomstalkers, but I like the idea that, like, two is fine, three is fine, really, but I like the idea that if you were thinking about picking some up, or you were you had the Combat Patrol Necron box, this is a really good plug-in to existing necron collectors i'm tempted by this i'm not going to because i can't afford it because i've got hobby apocalypse and all that shit but <laughs> if i these aren't these aren't also like to get in the in the weeds with it apart from the flayed ones and the warriors and the locust heavy destroyer but the ophidian destroyers the doom stalker and the technomancer aren't in imperium magazine or any like bundle necron deals so you there's a lot here that you couldn't get from anywhere else unless you bought them separately so this is a good box i'm gonna say I'm gonna say eight out of ten. I like it. I like it. It's a good box. Yeah, this I I agree. This is a really cool looking box. It looks pretty. Uh, it's hard not to be narrative with Necrons, and this looks great to me. So um, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna go with an eight out of ten as well. I just like it. I like what's in this box, and I like how they pho- photographed it because there's two tall things, one on each side, and that makes my yeah. my, my, my slightly OCD brain happy. <laughs> <laughs> cool. You Next like one down. Treat. Orcs. Final box, button. the final one. Yeah, it is. Yeah, the final Warhammer 40k box. We won't go through AOS right now. We've got to do some shooting because monkeys here. Um, so the Kildaka Warband. So we've got the uh, the big lad on the war trike. Uh, we've got a big mech with a shock attack gun. I think that is. We've got five knobs, nobles. We've got yeah. ten boys. We've got a runt herd and ten Gretchen. And we've got uh, sorry, twenty boys. I think it is because there's another ten boys at the back. And then we got a was it a Wazdaka? What's it? A Daka jet. A Daka jet. Stop getting orcs wrong. The thing is, you can literally just say loads of mad syllables, and it's probably yeah. an orc vehicle. It's a it? Daka jet. Yeah. Bomb ganger, bomb ganger, boom danger, and it's like, oh yeah, yeah, one of them, bro. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's five knobs, twenty boys, ten Gretchen, 
mech on a, a death killer war try shock attack gun and a daca jet i think this is um we always want more boys oh yeah i think i think it's quite utilitarian i think right right this is what i think about this box i think this is a box that the space marine box could have been like this has just got enough spice to throw it over the edge like so you're right you always need more boys right so you've got 20 boys there split up into mobs and mobs of 10 or you can run the 20 but like the daca jet and the gretchen and the and the shock attack gun that just pulls it out of like boring you know what i mean there's enough cool stuff in here that i think this makes a, a decent enough box i like yeah. it yeah uh, I'm, I'm not, it doesn't excite me. Battle. Well, I've, I've got to be honest, and I don't mean this in a bad, a disrespectful way to Orc players, Monkey. Well, you're not. You're, yeah, you're not a player. I, orcs don't really excite me generally. Like, I, I don't. I, and it's a me thing, not an Orc thing, right? Yeah. But I can see if you wanted to collect Orcs, I think this is a really good starting point. Or if you had the Combat Patrol that just come out, this is a really good leap. I like that they put a flyer in here as well. Like, I mean, really, they should have put eight eight buggies and three flyers on, on in this box, really, if they wanted to keep up with the meta. <laughs> um, but I think it's got enough weird stuff in here. Like, maybe a flyer, again, people wouldn't buy that for themselves normally, so it's a bit of a treat, but you still... It's like you've got your dessert with the Daka Jet, but you've still got the 20 boys, you've still got your main course. You're still eating your vegetables, do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, in this case, your mushrooms, yeah. Uh, hey, go on, yeah, Fulton. it's it's a decent it's a decent box. Twenty boys, I like. It's, it's orky, I love it. Um, the guy on the, the the war boss being a bit more interesting, you know, the guy on the trike, I like that. I like that there's a big mech too. Yeah. Um, just round it out. Nice little battalion here. Um, Are they think, old boys yeah. kit or new boys kit? New boys well, kit. I was, Monkey, I was just about to move on to that. Like, that's a really good point. Is, Is that this for, for an orc player? Like that might be a nice new treat, like the new boys. You know what I mean? Like get yourself a couple new boys and then but some knobs while you're at it. Did they're all monopoles though, are they? So all the boys look the same. So your twenty boys are gonna look the same. Is now what the is it? I, is is the monopoles just in the combat patrol box and are, are they are they multi part when you get the, the box? I don't think so. I think that's the new boys kit. Is uh, monopoles guy. boys? I'm yeah, sure someone else in chat there. can give us. You know, I've seen on, a couple on, of similarities. Ball. You got this guy here, that guy there, this guy here, that guy there. Yeah, they're pretty similar looking. I didn't notice if that you look if you look as well they've got like they've got a mix of shooter and slugger and chopper which makes me think that probably it's the monopose kit because mm. that was what well, monkey wasn't there an argument wasn't the the drama that it doesn't make like proper squads like yeah, it doesn't make kit. a full squad of 10 chopper slugger boys you can have like six or five and five but if you want to make a full sl squad of chopper boys think you've got to buy two boxes to get Five plus five. Right. Well, at least there's two boxes so. in here, so that's something, wrong. right? That's, wrong. Yeah. That's, that, that's weird. That's, a, mm. that's unusual. I think, right. the new well, sculpt, I, knew, I think the new sculpts are good, but I do think they should have... They, they should have done, like, some posability, right? That that seems an oversight to me. Yeah. Right, for me, any kit that you need multiples of, so, like, uh, orc boys, you should have, you know, hundreds of orc boys in, yeah. in, in an orc yeah. army. Um, they should be modular. They should be... Any arm on any body with any legs yeah. with any head, like the old tactical weapons. marines, yeah, Agreed. yeah. And then you can you can have you know I'm sure the permutations. If you're a mathematician, I'm sure the permutations start to run out after a while. But you should have a good few, you know, a number of unique poses you can do or unique things you can do. Yeah. All right. Well, Brap, what's your score for this one, mate? Because so we can get back to war zoning. No, I give it. I give it a six out of ten because of six. that new revelation with the Orc boys. Oof, yeah, it's cost us some points there, haven't it? Uh, I, I am <laughs> in the same points. ballpark. I'm gonna go. What did I give the Space Marine box? Did I give the Space Marine box six out of ten? I'm gonna give this one seven out of ten because it's slightly spicier. That's it. That's that's right. it. But they're both yeah, cookie I'm, cutter I'm... boxes. So yeah, Just... that's our little review of the thing of the battle forces. Some really good ones um and some just a bit, bit mediocre ones to be honest 